<laughs> no. Sora was dragged into the abyss during his exam, and I went in after him. So I think if we find someone who is really close to Aqua, and they make the dive, they could reach her down there. I'm not sure who's even left to ask. Ventus is hidden, and Aqua's the only one who knows where. Plus, nobody's seen Terra in ages. Aqua was the last. So Aqua, she's gonna be the key to finding all three. Yes, their teacher, Master Ericus, would have been another possibility. Had Xehanort not mercilessly struck him down. I'll save her. Huh? huh? But Sora, that's gonna be super hard since you don't have the power of waking. Huh? Sorry. I have no idea why that just popped out. Well, it was pretty convincing. Yeah. Better not let us down. Mm. Sora, you must focus on regaining your lost power of waking. Mickey and Riku, I recall that Master Aqua journeyed to many worlds and connected with others who could be the link we need. Good plan, sir. Riku and I will retrace her steps and see if we can find any sort of clues. But first... Hmm? We got hit pretty hard in the Realm of Darkness. My Keyblade was damaged, and the Heartless broke Riku's clean in half. So... We're gonna need to get replacements before we can continue. In that case, rendezvous with Kyrie and Lee. They are continuing their training under the tutelage of the wizard Merlin. Yes, sir. Also, I would like you to deliver these for me. Are they? Yes, they are the same as the ones I gave you. Special vestments to shield Kyrie and Lee from the darkness. We got him! What? No fair! What about my outfit, Master? Sora, don't bug him like that! I can't consider it! Settle down. I have new clothes for you too, Sora. Yeah? A gift from the <laughs> good fairies. Huh? I knew you'd come through for me! Thanks! Those are no ordinary garments, Sora. <sighs> Like before, they have very special powers, so it took extra time to prepare them. In addition, there is a <laughs> gift from Chip and Dale inside. Cool, okay! <laughs> Happy now? Yep. Now you are all ready to proceed. Hey, wait! Don't forget about me! Jiminy! <laughs> Every journey worth going on needs a cricket to keep track of it. And I can't let you start this one without old Jiminy Cricket by your side. The whole team's back. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Now to mark the beginning of a new journey. I wish for you to have this, Sora. Huh? Okay. That is a heart binder. Think of it as a good luck charm made just for you. <gasps> you have a gift, Sora, for connecting with others. And this makes that gift stronger. It's time to go! Oh. May your heart be your guiding key. See? Mm. Hmm. Okay, we'll do. 
Um. Oh, come on, when you get serious? Give me a break, okay? I told you, these things take time. Gorge, is it just me? Or is this turning into a routine? Huh? Uh... What? It's coming from you, Sora. Huh? Oh. Uh... What's this? Not me! Magic stop! But I don't know how. Maybe this. Hooray! He picked up! Huh? Dale? Hey, Chipper! I finally got him! Hurry up, Chip! <laughs> well, it's about time! Chip? You gotta answer the phone, Sora! Or we can't give you updates! We got lots and lots of important stuff we want to tell you! That's why we asked Master Yen Sid to make sure you got this gummy phone we made ya! So we'd be able to stay in touch with you at all times. And it takes pictures. Oh, you finally finished it. Say, with this gummy phone, we can talk to each other across worlds. In fact, I might even try writing my journal on it. Wow. Sounds like it's pretty handy, guys. So, what's so important? This. Back when you and Riku quested through the sleeping worlds, Riku recovered some secret research data that Ansem the Wise hid inside you. Ansem's code! Mm-hmm. We've been working our tails off trying to crack it and see what it says. The data has been encrypted, so we've only deciphered some of it. Huh? Oh. I guess we haven't spoken since the castle. I'm Ienzo. Alias is here too. Alias, whatever's between you and Roxas, it's in the past. <sighs> Zora, the reason we're here is because you and your friends defeated our nobodies, thereby recompleting us. We cast off our hearts by choice, make no mistake, but we didn't know that Xemnas, or rather, Xehanort, was deceiving us. Huh? Xemnas? Oh, he's with them! Not anymore. Xemnas and Xehanort have no hold over us now. We're just students of the heart. Exactly the same as we were before all of this began. Yeah, right. Hmm. But you know, now that I think about it, Axel's on our side now. friends we want to bring back to this world just the same as you. To do that, we have to work together. In that spirit, Sora, we found some intriguing data in the bit of code we deciphered. Is it about me? Yes. In order to piece your memories back together, our teacher Ansem the Wise took a close look at your heart. And what he found? is that your heart doesn't belong just to you. It doesn't? Gorge, you don't seem surprised. Yeah. Honestly, I suspected as much. There's another heart inside mine. I think it's Roxas's. Just like Naminé is still inside Kyrie's. Interesting. Well, no one knows your heart better than you. To be honest, we still have a plethora of questions on our side. But, the idea has merit. It's incredible enough that you and your nobody are able to coexist. If you share a heart, no wonder someone as remarkable as you caught Ansem the Wise's eye. We'll keep investigating based on your hypothesis. I'll be in touch. Okie dokie. We'll give you fellows a ring if there's anything else. Remember, me and Chip, the guys at Radiant Garden, and King Mickey and everybody are never far away. And Jiminy, would you do us a favor? Teach Sora how to use the dummy phone? Leave it to me.
I have to find Roxas and save him. The others are following Aqua's heart. So I'll follow Roxas's heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust the guidance that your heart gives you, Sora. That's what Master Yen Sid said. Well, go! <laughs> oh, that's easy. Yeah. Oh, so now the game starts.
Gorge, we forgot to fill Master Yen Sid in on what happened. Should we go back? Hmm. You mean about Maleficent and Zigbar? No. The others have already got enough on their plates as it is. Why go stressing them out? The three of us know how to handle a couple of old adversaries, right? Yeah, I guess. But doesn't that thing Pete said bother you? The black box? Come on, we're talking about Pete. That means it's probably no big deal. Oh, I don't know. Oh, cool! The trams are still here! So, uh, it hasn't been that bad. Feels like it. Maybe you're feeling what Roxas feels because he misses home. Mm-hmm. Actually, I ran into Roxas in the Sleeping Worlds. It was like seeing into his heart for the first time. And he was in the data stand, too. Uh-huh. It was a test to see if your data version was ready to face the hurt that you carry inside. Was I ready? I do know hurt. When I lost Riku and Kairi, and later hey, when I lost the Keyblade... Alpha. How's it going, man? And you guys had to go on without me like that? Having no one to turn to was the worst kind of hurt. But that just shows how much you mean to me. Carrying around a little hurt can't be all that bad. Hurting is part of caring. He sounds like Dinosaur again. Of course. Any Sora is still Sora. So wait. If Roxas feels something, then we're in the right place. Roxas, I'm gonna find you. Huh? What is that? Nobody! <laughs> Nobody's. Thanks, man. Yeah. What is yeah. this? Tornado blast. Thanks a lot for stopping by, Alpha. Hey! <laughs> was that voice? I know I heard it. I didn't hear it. You sure it wasn't the wind? Or something else? 
I'm pretty sure. Where'd they come huh? from? Get the ice cream later. Huh? <laughs> what? Hold up. See? Voices. New ones? <laughs> what? Painter? Pence! Olette! Oh shit. Oh, oh, what is that? <laughs> Hey, Sora! Hello, goodbye! Uh, oh. Go! We got this! Woo! 